Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to the Insight Show. <laughs> You're on Madhouse TV. My producer, Tom, uh, he heard that I needed, so he threw one at me. But anyway, welcome to the show once again. Uh, we have a nice show for you tonight. We have our comedian, and we have our vocalist, so we're all set. And you'll be meeting uh, our vocal, or I should say Pat Marone. He's our comedian for tonight. And we have uh, Margie um, Mars, who is our singer tonight, which will be a great time. Of course, I get to do my little stuff too, so we'll be all right. Um, it is July 23rd, 19, 2015. <laughs> We're in a time warp. <laughs> I'm dating myself right now. You look much younger. Yeah. So anyway, um, here we are. So uh, you know the theme of the show, which has always been the same, which is, thank God, from the George Burns movie, Oh God. The theme was, thank God, and that's how we leave it with you. Uh, I'm not gonna get into anything too heavy tonight, obviously, for my little monologue, but I would like to say that um, I've been watching a few things on Facebook. If you can catch me on Facebook, you know that. Um, I'm seeing a lot of things about how we are really getting away from the family oriented life here. So I would suggest to you, if it's at all possible, try to bring that family life back into our own lives. A little bit of God would never hurt. Sitting down at the dinner table, maybe together, talking about things instead of going off on an iPad or, or watching TV or something. Just start the little communication with the family. Get that going again, because I think we're turning so far away from everything and we're becoming introverted with our games and our, and our time. And I myself am guilty. I have no time. I'm constantly running. Take a breath. Slow down. And uh, say a little prayer now and then. Matter of fact, a prayer at a dinner table does wonderful things. So anyway, that's enough of my ranting and raving tonight. But uh, I would like to say welcome to my crew that's here tonight, Thank you. Uh, Margie and Pat. Welcome. Thank Welcome you. to the show. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Thank you for having us. My pleasure. Don't mind me. I, I just had to say that because it's, you know, it's been bothering me. A lot of this stuff has been... I think it's important. Yeah. If, if important. you say a prayer at the dinner table, does it help with indigestion? Or, uh... Well, it may, it may slow you down from eating so fast. Maybe it'll help with weight loss or anything? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fork just further away from your mouth. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> so, how you guys been doing? Great. I'm good. Now, let's see. Uh, Pat, what have you been up to? What have you been playing? I've been uh, doing some, uh, I did a couple of shows on my own. I uh, had in Glen Cove at the View Grill. And uh, since the summer started, I've been, uh, been a little slow right now. i got another one coming up in Maguire's on uh, August uh, 7th at 10.30 Maguire's. Great lineup on there. Uh, Tony Landalfi's headlining and Mike Keegan and uh, a bunch of other guys on it. And, um, and I'm in the Long Island Laugh Off which is a governor's contest, that'll be August 6th at um, uh, Governors in Levittown. Oh, so this is, you're, you're very busy. Well, I got a day job too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. When I was in the, I was a detective in New York City Police Department, and I always considered uh, the music was my main job and the police department was my secondary job. <laughs> so, although the secondary job paid the bills, so it's tough. Now, how about you, Margie? What you been up to? Well, I recently sang a Guy Anthony's in Merrick. I'll be there August 13th. I was in California this winter, and I sang a lot out there in Palm Desert area. And Indian Wells Resort Hotel in Palm Desert was back street. And, uh, but I've sung a lot in the city. Wow. Tavern on the Green and the Duplex and uh, a lot of the clubs. And I'm happy to be here. Have you been going out with yourself or keyboardist or whatever? Or have you going with, out with the whole I've band? Mostly with piano. Piano and and uh, trumpet and, and sax and you know, bass. I mean, you play standards and that type of thing? Mostly, you... yes. I, a lot of the American songbook, Gershwin, Porter, Julie Stein, Broadway. A lot of Broadway tunes, too. Wow. Well, I heard you join the, the uh, sound check. <laughs> and a very pretty voice. Thank you. Thank you yes. so much. Yes, very, nice. very nice voice. Thank you. Thank you both. And uh, now you were on... Dennis, I heard you in the sound check. Your voice ain't too bad either, so... Well, thank you very much. I and I met you at uh, 
I didn't get a chance to hear you sing over at the Bean with uh, Les Deegan. <laughs> oh, that's right. And yeah. uh, you know, he's got Marine, me going. Yeah. We're going to be there at the end of the month, thirty th first. Oh, nice. Maybe I'll try to get that. And Les is great. He's great. He's got me singing with um, with uh, um, Kareen Kareen uh, yeah. Firestone. Yeah, she's oh, great great. too. Yeah, yeah. Well, we just you know, nice. just jamming out or whatever. Fine. Um, you had a, you had something. You needed a cough drop that night too. That's why you didn't sing. I had I had yeah. well, I had pneumonia, bronchitis. Oh my. And uh, God knows what else, and you know, when it hits you, it hits you. Oh so my. I was on antibiotics for like two different times. Right. Two different types of different antibiotics, like 17 days worth of stuff. Okay, and so. funny thing is, I had, a sh I had a show to do on the Saturday, so Friday was my last pill on that first set. Saturday came, I did the, sh the, sh the, the show. Sunday, I went right back to couldn't talk, couldn't sing. So I had to go back out for more antibiotics. But now I'm okay. Now I just have a regular sore throat. <clears> throat> Pineapple juice, very good for vocal cords. Cool, cold yeah. or warm? It. <laughs> just no, 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 just drink a lot. Drink it. It's it really is healing, very healing. Now you're on the, the gagooch. I was on the gagooch show, yes. With uh, I was on there twice, yeah. Are you, do you do a lot of show, shows with him as well? Uh, no, Benny? I did. Uh, I did one show at the waterfront in Patchogue. I did with him. Um, that's about it. A couple open mics, you know. But uh, I met him. I met him at an open mic, and uh, I met him at the Bean. The Bean. Yeah. He's such a nice guy. Yeah, and good guy. I, you call he, him Rudy Gazzuti. Yeah. <laughs> I, date, I date myself. It was. I can't help myself. But he uh, he uh, he supplies me with the comedians. He's yeah. one of the guys. Mike uh, Mike Dolan also supplies me with comedians. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, uh, that's, that's who contacted me was uh, Benny. Yeah. And uh, I've had Rich Walker and all those guys. All they've all helped me get uh, people. Yeah, here. Rich is a nice guy. I took his class when I did that and, thing. Uh, stand up university. Stand up university. <laughs> yeah, I took two classes. I took one at the uh, Governor's with John Trusen too. So I took both of the classes. Yeah, Peter Bales and Rich Walker on that one. Yeah. So you doing? Do you do anything out in like the? Uh, in Mike's place, out in the I've done that when I first started. Out. Yeah, I done done that. Did a couple of shows there. By Clarion? Mike's at the Clarion, yeah, right. Patrick, yeah. It's we're gonna we're gonna be well. You know, I also sing with a girl. Yeah. Her name is Jerry, and we sing. Uh, it's called Just the Two of Us, Den and Jerry's, yeah. like the ice cream. <laughs> Den and Jerry's, Just the Two of Us, and we're gonna be at uh, Villa Monica's on the seventh. Yeah, I seen that. So if you have nothing to do, folks, or even if you have something to do, stop what you're doing. Come on down to Villa Monica's. That's Friday night, and then uh, we're at Sergio's on Massapequa, yeah. that little Italian restaurant over there, in, um, um, on the fourteenth. Yeah, Villa Monica's got, Villa Monica's got great food. I did a show there too. Did a comedy show there. Great food. Nikki, uh, the owner, great guy. Nicole, she's on the Gagoo show. Yeah, yeah. My friend Tony T and uh, Jackie T and Marguerite play there too. Yeah, sure. I don't know if I you know, know that. Well, believe it or not. Margarita was a singer in my band. Oh yeah. And Tony was the bass player of my band, Sweet Sound Band. For, oh wow, because uh, they had the rhythm justice. Yeah, right. Yeah, because yeah. after the rhythm justice is yeah. with me, because my band I had for 17 years, and when my bass, my unfortunately my bass player died from cancer, and I had a few other people in there, and then he was in f with me about six months or so. Yeah. Him and both Margarita was with me for a longer yeah, time. Yeah, they're great people. Singing. Good people. So I'm an 11 piece band. It was, it was awesome. Oh my gosh, Free that's fabulous. Section. It was, oh, that's great. Played a lot of big venues like Pat Joke and all that stuff. Yeah, they had a big Wonderful. band when they did the weddings, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they were great. So, um, where are you going to be, where you be coming up? Something coming up? Or? I have August 13th at Guy Anthony's, and I'm, I'm only back in New York two months, so I'm really hitting, hitting the dick running. Are you staying? Oh, yeah, this is my home. I raised my family here. I'm New from New York. New York. I was just there for a short period. Is it Manhattan? I love ca California, but I, yes. Well, well I'll tell you what. We're going to be back after uh, these few words, and uh, we'll see what happens from there, okay? We'll be right, we'll be right back. Don't go away. Tom Vealy from Madhouse TV, and when I'm not at the studio, I'm here at the Harrison Law Group. This is my real job. In this January 2015, Brett and I are putting together a show called Legal Straight Talk. It'll be aired on Cablevision as well as here at Madhouse TV. You need to tune in. This information that we're going to be giving the public is the real deal. 
It's all about what you should do, what you shouldn't do. So tune in this January 2015 for a new episode of Legal Straight Talk. Hi, I'm Tom Mealy from Madhouse. Professional motorcycle transport and towing. Think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Galaxy Luxury Coach is a full-service limousine and party bus company. Family-owned and operated, we are an industry leader with over 25 years of experience in providing best-in-class luxury transportation for your special event. Whether it's your precious wedding day, an all-day wine tour out east, your high school prom, that special birthday, or just an amazing night on the town, our professional chauffeurs stand ready to ensure your special event is truly special. Galaxy Luxury Coach has one of the largest and modern party bus fleets in the New York area. Our party buses are simply nightclubs on wheels, concert sound systems, light shows, lasers and strobes, multicolor LED lighting brilliantly lights your party bus inside and out. For corporate and more laid back events, we will cater to your specific needs and requests. What sets Galaxy aside from all others in the luxury transportation industry is our attention to detail in customizing our services to your special event. At Galaxy, it's all about you and your guests. Galaxy customers return time and time again because they know they can trust Galaxy to help deliver those lifetime memorable moments. Step aboard and let your Galaxy experience begin. Galaxy Luxury Coach is a full service limousine and party bus company. Family owned and operated, we are an industry leader with over 25 years of experience in providing best in class luxury transportation for your special event. Whether it's your precious wedding day, an all day wine tour out east, your high school prom, that special birthday, or just an amazing night on the town, our professional chauffeurs stand ready to ensure your special event is truly special. Galaxy Luxury Coach has one of the largest and modern party bus fleets in the New York area. Our party buses are simply nightclubs on wheels, concert sound systems, light shows, lasers and strobes, multicolor LED lighting brilliantly lights your party bus inside and out. For corporate and more laid back events, we will cater to your specific needs and requests. What sets Galaxy aside from all others in the luxury transportation industry is our attention to detail in customizing our services to your special event. At Galaxy, it's all about you and your guests. Galaxy customers return time and time again because they know they can trust Galaxy to help deliver those lifetime memorable moments. Step aboard and let your Galaxy experience begin. Galaxy Luxury. All right, no you got no mic. All right, we're back. I don't know, but we're back, and um, we're going to be doing a song for you. Since we get that squared away, there we go. Okay, so if my band is all ready, I'm going to do a song for you that I'm just starting out doing uh, a new version of. <laughs> Shelter someone's arms and beg your word. Needed someone to understand my ups and downs. Well, there you were. Between love and devotion, touching my emotion. I want to stop. I thank you, baby. I just want to stop. I thank you, baby. It is to be loved by you Yeah! How sweet it is to be loved by you Close my eyes at night Wonder why I do without a you in my life Everything I did was such a bore Everywhere I went to know I've been there before but you bad enough for me all of my days With a love so sweet, so many ways I won't stop, I thank you baby I just won't stop, I thank you baby Whoa! How sweet it is to be loved by you Whoa! How sweet it is 
sweet it is to be loved by you. Go get them. Here's my band. You know, I, you were better to me than I was to myself. For me, there's you and there's nobody else who won't stop. I thank you, baby. I just want to stop. I thank you, baby. Oh, 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 oh. How sweet it is to be loved by you. Oh, yes, sir. How sweet it is to be loved by you. going anywhere we're going to introduce Pat who is our comedian an extraordinary comedian Pat your last name again Marone. that's right <laughs> I'll leave you You're alone also on a time warp and you forgot my name yes I can't remember still back in the 90s well uh, it's all yours okay turn your mic on Ooh. hello okay how you doing out there in TV land? 
All right, this is how my day started out. Look at you, you fat bastard. Look at you. You're getting so fat you can't even button your pants up. Stop eating. That was me looking into the mirror. I went into one of those yogurt places. You know the uh, kind where you make your own yogurt? And I asked the girl, I said, how much is the yogurt? She says it goes by weight. I said, that's not fair. Why should I have to pay more money than some skinny person? So I go around, make the yogurt. Girl says, would you like a spoon or a cover? I said, I don't know, I can't get both. I said, give me whatever weighs less. Better yet, give me the spoon. I don't know how to eat with a cover. <laughs> I'm talking to my buddy the other day, and I'm telling him, I said, it's been uh, 15 years since I quit smoking. He said, wow, were you a heavy smoker? Yeah, about 280 pounds. I hate the self-checkout, you know, the kind uh, with it, that annoying voice. You get up there, boop, bread, $1.89. Boop, milk, two eighty nine. Boop, really, Pat? Think you need those cookies? I, I got a buddy of mine, he's on this uh, online dating, and he said he slept with so many women that he met on this website, plentyoffish.com, that unfortunately now he's got plenty of crabs. I took my mother uh, for a colonoscopy years ago, and I didn't know what to expect. So I'm in the waiting room, and the woman says, uh, Mr. Moreau, would you like to come in and see your mom? I said, yeah, sure, because she's finished. So as I'm walking back there, there's somebody farting like crazy. And I say, who the hell is that? She said, that's your mom. I said, I'm so sorry. I said, she gets that way when she has uh, a lot of beans. She must have had beans. She goes, no, that's normal. I said, who told you, my stepfather? So on the way home, she had so much gas that we got followed home by Arabs. Does anybody know what a shofar is? A shofar is a Jewish horn that you blow into on Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah. Me, I'm Italian. The only shofar I know is Frankie Limos. So I'm at work. We're in a department at meeting. Like all girls in the meeting. And we're sitting there talking about the Jewish holidays. And one of the girls says, uh, who's going to blow the shofar this year? Look at it, not, not me. Isn't that a little extreme? So uh, I work in assisted living. I work with the seniors. I'm a chef. And uh, food is very important to them. So important that this woman was complaining about a meatloaf for so long the other day, the only way I could shut her up was to turn off her oxygen. We had another woman in there. She lost her dentures four times. Once in Tony's room, once in Bill's room, once in Freddie's room. And once under my desk. You know, a lot of the seniors, they're into sexting now, you know. So we got this one old guy, and he's sexting on his iPhone. He even got an iPhone, so he's sexting. And uh, his iCloud got hacked. And naked pictures leaked out of him, standing there holding his gagoots in his hand. They locked him up, and they charged him for possession of a dead weapon. Fortunately... They can't prosecute, fortunately for him, they can't prosecute him. Uh, the prosecutor said the evidence wouldn't stand up. So uh, I'm at work the other day, and uh, there's some, uh, I hear these girls talking that they can't get the residents to sleep at night. So they're saying, you know, what are we going to do? We can't get these residents to sleep at night. So I overhear the one girl, she, she says, why don't you have Pat come down and do his comedy act? That'll put him to sleep. Uh, I got another resident. We went out, I went outside one day, and I see him hanging out of the dumpster. So I said, hey, Tony, what are you doing? We got plenty of food inside. He says, hey, what I'm looking for is more important than food. I said, oh, yeah? He goes, yeah, I'm looking for my penis pump. I said, is that what that is? We've been using that as a turkey baster. So we, we got another guy in there. He's got the built-in penis pump. Can't lose it. Built-in. It's run on hydraulics. So... Uh, he, uh, one, when he goes out to the dinner table at night, he pumps it up. The table goes up. The dishes go on the floor. The other day, we had a, a waiter. He got a flat tire. We didn't have a jack, so we sent him out there. Just so happens his name is Jack. I got another buddy. He's 80 years old. And wherever we go, we go in all these restaurants, he flirts with all the women. And the old guys get away with it. So I said, all right, I'll try it. And all I get is pull up your pants. So uh, I play golf too. I'm on the golf course and um, we got uh, teamed up with this old guy. He was so old, he was around when they made golf clubs out of dinosaur bones. 
So he says, hey, I got a story to tell you guys. My buddies call me Chop and Swallow because I eat a lot. I said, oh, okay. He says, yeah, the other day I ate two dozen raviolis, and about an hour later I get this erection. Won't go down for nothing. They rush me to the emergency room. It turns out that the raviolis are what caused the erection. I said, wow, all I got to do is look at raviolis, and I get an erection. Thanks, everybody. That's my time. Thanks for watching Madhouse TV and uh, Inside Show, and here's Dennis. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Pat. Excellent. All right, folks, we'll be right back after these commercial words. Don't go away. We have a whole lot of stuff coming up. Stretching under sedation or manipulation under anesthesia is a very gentle, very precise procedure to very slowly release any scar tissue that is formed as a result of a traumatic injury. Many people ask, how does this work? Will I get hurt? Will you stretch me too far? We only stretch the body part to its normal range of motion. After completing the post-MUA rehabilitation program, it's very common that our patients say to us, hey, I can play ball with my kid again. Hey, I can bowl again. Hey, I can enjoy hiking again. This is what makes it rewarding to us as practitioners. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and Ron Cockman, New York, and we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. and we made it back. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. 
Yeah, he was funny, funny man. Very funny. So right now I'm standing alongside Margie Morris, who is our singer tonight extraordinaire, and I'm looking forward to hearing you again. So I'm going to give it to you right now, and I'm going to walk off that way, and that's that. Thank you, Reverend Dennis. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. 
gift was ours to borrow It's as if we always knew And I won't forget what I did for love What I did for love Kiss today goodbye and point me to tomorrow. We did what we had to do. Won't forget and regret what I did for. Tell myself that I'm 
after these words soon. Okay. All right? Stay tuned.
so powerful to blow your mind right in front of your face. Goodbye. Oh no! Goodbye, Kyle. I don't. Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh! Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials! You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power? Yeah, I do. Try this routine to feel fresh and clean. Pair Charmin Fresh Mates with your Charmin. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray is too powerful to stay in its own commercial. That's right. B -b 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 power. Whoa. Old Spice Body Spray can change a regular smelling man into a man who smells like power. Now, how is this? Ah! Wow, you know what? I actually do feel more power. Potato chips! <laughs> ba -ba 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 power! It's me. All right, we're back. You have to trim it down just a little tiny bit because I'm starting to get read here. But other than that, we're doing fine. And uh, we're going to try something never before done. <laughs> never before have we done this before. Never. <sighs> okay. okay so here we go. It'll be fun. Yes. <laughs>
here there you go let me slide over this way come over there you guys all right this is where i get to do the last song of the evening and it's uh well god bless america i get to little honor god and country type of thing so here we go ah we got through that that was pretty yeah. cool the first <laughs> time we fun, ever did right first time yes okay so you can hang in there with me there's a few change ups in it so I get to do a little God and country.